Hey guys, my name is Kayla Gago. Welcome to my channel. So today we're doing another weekly vlog. I know you guys love my weekly vlog, so I got you another one, girl. But before we do that, I'm going to get into some things that I got from Boohoo. So shout out to Boohoo for sponsoring this video, sending over these bomb pieces, and I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. Everything will be linked down below in the description box, so make sure you check it out. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn your notifications on, follow your girl on Instagram, you know all that good stuff, and let's get into the haul video. All right, so first thing is this two-piece set, and it is so separately by the way just in case you're wondering and you also might have seen this on my instagram if you do follow me at kayla kate go follow your girl okay but i love this set it's like a just a simple like rib lounge set the rib is like really really thick and nice on this and then it also says official right here on the kind of like stomach area and also right here at the top of the shorts it is long sleeve and it does kind of have like this little notched collar situation going on here's how the back looks very simple just a cropped top and then also some shorts so this is how long the shorts go if you can tell and also i really love the band on this it's like super super thick and like sturdy so i just like how it kind of sucks you in and just creates a nice little shape or whatever so yeah i really like these all right so the next set is like this blue and white floral situation i just feel like this is so spring i don't have anything like this in my closet so i thought i would pick it up and i really do like it i think it's sold together as well if i'm not mistaken here's how the corset looks like a nice little floral design this is so pretty and also it does kind of dip down right here for like a little flat cuts here's how the back looks strapless and then the pants so these are more like leggings honestly and they fit really good like they're nice and stretchy um but yeah same like floral design very very simple I wish I could show you how long they are there we go boom so they come like right here nice for like a strappy heel or something um but they're definitely kind of like a cropped like hits right at your ankle type of pants and as far as undergarments for this top i would just wear a strapless bra um i know a lot of you guys would be asking me about my undergarments so i kind of want to throw that in there when i remember to but yeah for a strap i would wear a strapless bra with this top all right next up are these jeans now i would not wear this together it's just the top that i had on so i'll probably wear this with like a white top like something super simple because these jeans are a statement okay so here's how they look they're kind of like a dark blue light blue tie-dye again i don't have anything like this in my closet so i thought i would pick them up all right i just panned down so you can see the full length of the pants and the full effect but yeah these are so cute i feel like they're just so different they stand out they don't really need too much to accessorize with because they are the statement of the outfit and i love the fit of these i think i got these in a size 10 and they fit amazing they are a little bit big like back here but that's like honestly the story of my life so i can just get them tailored but other than that the rest of it fits amazing even without heels they're not like super scraping the ground so you can just wear these with like sandals if you want to um and even with heels i feel like they'll be a cool length they won't look too high border you know what i mean so yeah love these so cute just wait till i style it i feel like they kind of just look super out there but until you style something is when you really see how you can you know you know create a look also i got a bathing suit i'll pop a picture up over here because i'm not gonna try it on sorry but you guys will probably see it on on instagram or whatever because this is so cute so i have like this kind of bra looking bikini top right here and then in the back it looks like this print on this just reminds me of like water almost like a watercolor type of design and then these are the bottoms so they are high-waisted this is the front and they just kind of give you like that brazilian type of bikini so i just love this so cute i love the pattern the color everything about it so this is definitely going to look good on my vacation you know your girl go to vacation i can't wait um i'll let you guys know where i'm going like closer to when i'm going all right next up we have this like mesh dress this is so pretty like it's kind of a way to like hop into patterns without it being super duper you know like just like out there so it's kind of like a marble like i don't know it kind of looks like an army print low-key but it is definitely just like a marble kind of taupey situation and it's a mini dress so i love mini dresses i feel like they just flatter me a lot more than mini dresses super cute racer back it is a racer back and also kind of like a racer front as well 
very form fitting you know so for a night out or something like that it is mesh on the top but it does have like a lining under so you won't be able to see anything so that's cool but it still gives you like the mesh effect without you know it being super see-through so this is definitely more practical than a regular mesh dress also from boohoo i got these shoes which are so cute very minimal and i just love a good minimal black shoe i feel like it's just a staple 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 so if anything definitely go get these so they wrap up your ankle like this and then here is the toe part and then the actual like shape of it is perfect it's not too square i feel like the shoes that are super super square they just don't really flatter as much and the ones that are a little bit tapered like they make your legs look longer they flatter every foot like it's just beautiful also the leather is not like too shiny it doesn't really look like faux leather this is definitely giving like a more real leather look so they just look more expensive than any regular like super affordable shoe so yeah definitely pick these up y'all these are definitely worth it and last but not least we just have a simple dress just a very like casual must-have dress i always keep me a must-have dress okay because you never know what you about to do if you have laundry and everything that you have that's cute is in the laundry you always need a backup dress so i always have like a simple black dress that i could wear to literally anything and the way that i kind of dress it up is the shoe or the bag or the accessories you know so you always need a simple basic dress like this one okay this one is like a beige colored you know situation and i love this it's a maxi dress actually i'll pan it down in a second but it's just very simple like you can dress it up with your accessories your bag your shoes like you always need okay it's an essential you need it and this is how long it is super duper long it is a maxi dress so it's definitely giving sundress vibe you know good for the cookout or wherever you want to go run some errands but still look cute and put together you know y'all know how it go the perfect piece to extend your spring and summer wardrobe because you can actually get so many outfits out of this like you can dress it up so many different ways because it's so simple so yeah definitely pick this up i have all my must-have dresses i just need a white one now but now i have this beige one i have two black ones you always got to keep enough black ones y'all know so yeah that's it for this haul definitely check out boohoo and all the pieces that i picked up everything will be linked down below in the description box including my sizes as well as my measurements so you guys can use them as a size reference once again thank you to boohoo for sponsoring this part of this video so let's get into the weekly vlog let's see what your girl was up to okay because i really wasn't up to nothing but i had a good weekend though so just stay tuned you know just keep watching Good morning, y'all. It's Monday. Look up real dry, real crusty. Um, today I woke up kind of late. One, I woke up in shambles, just mind, brain all over the place for number two. And then for number three, my bra gets here. So I can finally like sort of finish my living room-ish. So we can do that together. For me, I usually plan my week and like write everything out on Sunday. But since I was like out and about being a hot girl on Sunday, I didn't get to do that. So I woke up this morning and was like, okay, well, I need to like just get my mind right, just organize everything in my brain, write it down on paper. And then now we can, you know, like chill and like actually get down to business, get down to work. But yeah, I'm about to go get my rug. So let's go get my rug. I'm so excited. I don't know how I'm gonna get it up here because it's six feet by nine feet, which is both ways are taller than me. So I don't know how I'm gonna get it up here, but I'm gonna figure it out. Y'all, this rug is heavy, okay? Like, whoo, I'm over here like sweating low key, but I'm gonna set y'all up so y'all can see. this but it's literally so big like i don't know if i can return this like this is huge okay this is the perfect time for me to make my little brother do all of this like oh my goodness this sucks i can't get it under the couch i mean i can i know i can let me speak it into existence but oh my gosh it's hard okay one more time y'all Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. Now I have to pull it farther. <laughs> this is a lot. Mm. 
Y'all, I had to take a break, okay? This is too much. So, I'm gonna keep trying to pull it this way, but then I also have to push it back this way. How am I gonna do that? This is, this is a struggle. Ooh, work smarter, not harder. So, I pulled the couch out like farther onto the rug and then I'm just gonna push the couch back because I can use both of my hands. I'm so smart. I need a break. This is the battle of the century, y'all. Me versus this rug and right now, the rug is like three and I'm like zero, okay? I'm tired <laughs> and I don't wanna like pull my back. This is not even a one person job, but I always be making everything a one person job because I just know I can depend on myself. You know what I mean? Like I always just be like, oh, I could do that. Like whatever. Girl, it be taking me a while, but I'll do it, you know? So I'm gonna get this right. I'm gonna speak it into existence. I'm gonna spread positivity upon it that somehow I can grow two more sets of arms. I think I won. Well, I didn't win all the way. I'm gonna get my brother to help me when he comes over because it's like a little crooked, but I got it to look pretty decent. So here's how it's looking. It's use the dryer, I'm uh, washing clothes, well, drying clothes, but this is what it looks like. It still has like some wrinkles and stuff, so hopefully that like falls out soon. So yeah, I'm about to actually just start editing this um, vlog to go up tomorrow. And then I also need to film like a little piece of something today. And also, I just have a lot of editing to do today. So I'm going to, check out with y'all i will see y'all when i'm done and doing something a little more interesting but um yeah for right now i'm just gonna be sitting on the couch editing because that's literally my life y'all that's literally all i do film and then edit film and then edit eat sleep film and then edit like boring but i'm trying to have like a cute little summer though so hopefully it gets a, a little more interesting okay so i just got done making my little lunch it will early dinner, I guess. All right, I'm gonna try it on camera with y'all because I never really like ate any of this stuff to be honest, like chickpeas, um, this cabbage, and then there's some rice. I mean, I had rice before, but um, yeah, I don't know. This is just seems like a very like exotic or just not a normal flavor profile. So let's try it. They also said for raisins, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Um, so yeah, let's try it out. Let me get a little of everything. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie. This is good. I did not expect it to taste like this. Mm. And normally I would never eat pickled cabbage, but for some reason, you can't really taste it in this. Like it just gives it the crunch and everything. But like it just goes with everything in here. So I don't mind eating it. Yeah, this is too good. Oh my God. And then this little sauce that they had me make. I'm gonna put some more. Okay. Cause this sauce is good. Everything is just so good. Like what? Hey y'all, it's Wednesday. I did not vlog yesterday because I actually wasn't even here. I was trying to edit this video. I was editing it like all day on Monday. And then I uploaded it to go up. It was actually my my last weekly vlog. Uploaded it, had it ready to go up on Tuesday, but then I realized I forgot something. I forgot to put the little like stuff in it. So I was like, oh my God, here we go. So I had to redo it and it was like an hour long. So taking too long to upload. So I had to go to my friend's house and use his Wi-Fi because he got that fat Wi-Fi, like period. So I went over there. Yesterday was just a lot, okay? So today, um, what time is it? I know it's like three o'clock. Yeah, it's like 3.30, y'all. Oops. This morning, I just worked out, and then I made breakfast. I um made a smoothie, like all that, all that stuff, you know? And then I've just been working again, like just editing again. But your girl got her pillows, so we finna talk about these pillows. My package came in from Target, so let's open this and see what they look like. Hopefully, they're not raggedy looking. <gasps> They are really just in here with no plastic on it or nothing. Target. Y'all got to do better. You got to do way better. Are you serious? This some ghetto shit if I ever seen it. Look at this. It's just in there. Like, what in the world? So I feel like they just pulled it out the store. 
and just st stuffed it in a bag. Oh, but also somebody commented and said that smaller pillows may look a lot better. So I was like, okay, I could just get smaller pillows instead of the big pillows. So I felt like big pillows would probably look better but they kind of don't like she has a point so i think i'm gonna look for smaller pillows and also in my last video um i think i asked y'all where to find other pillows and people were giving me suggestions so i'm gonna look there as well um also somebody was like oh my god it's too much beige girl this ain't your living room but um i wanted the pillows to be a little bit darker and the pictures in my phone that I have of the couch in the store, those pillows looked a little darker, but they, well, when I brought it here, they weren't. Because the lighting here is different. This is natural lighting and in the store clearly is like, you know, store lighting. So I think that's kind of where, you know, I was just kind of struggling, but um, now I guess I know exactly what to look for. So I'm gonna look around, just see what pillows I can find. Um, but thank you guys for all your suggestions like y'all really was helping me out especially with the um The wrinkled couch thing. So I'm gonna try the stuff that you guys recommended for the couch soon Y'all also asked me about this closet sale and I'm not even gonna hold you That joint is taking a little longer because it's just so much clothes that I'm trying to put on there and like gathering all the information is just it takes time and girl I need to be editing, I need to be filming, like, don't even got time for that. So I'm really trying to like have it up at least by maybe the end of the week, but we gonna see, okay, like, it's a, it's a lot. That damn near needs like its own like personal assistant, like somebody that could do it for me because it's just so much. I'm trying to basically use the colors in these paintings on the couch because I feel like that will look the best. But yeah, let me get back to editing y'all. I really need to edit this video. I felt so behind because of um, my birthday. I try to like stay ahead and just make sure I have content like just ready, you know what I mean? Um, but things that can kind of set you behind is one, skipping a day, missing a day, two, brands not approving content in time so they just set you back. Um, yeah, it's just so many things that could kind of set you back off of your schedule. So I'm really trying to get back on my schedule of like when I film, when I edit, when I do this, when I do that. I was actually supposed to film today, but that ain't happening to this period. So honestly, I feel like I should. I just looked at the sky and like there's no clouds, which means consistent lighting. So maybe I should, maybe I should film today. I'm making my potatoes. Y'all know like the last vlog, but y'all gonna be proud. Y'all gonna be proud. I'm making something else with it. I'm about to make also some salmon. So your girl might have her appetite back. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? Give me the food right now. So I'm also gonna make some asparagus with it as well. Where is it? There we go. Asparagus, salmon, and potatoes. It's giving balanced meal. It's giving she's got her appetite back. It's giving I'm excited to eat this because I'm hungry as well. So I just want to come and show y'all because you know, the last vlog, I was really struggling, but this vlog, I'm gonna be eating healthy, I'm gonna be eating balanced. It's 6.38, so I should be able to eat by at least 7.15. That's not a bad time to eat. I usually eat around like 6.37. So yeah, <sighs> today has been really chill. Not doing much, maybe I'll do some. Ooh, I wanna go back to the Crate and Barrel outlet tomorrow, so I'll bring y'all with me tomorrow. I forgot today was Wednesday, y'all. The week is flying by, like what is going on? I mean, I'm glad, but also, slow down but yeah the shipments come in on thursdays at that outlet so i'm in there like swimwear okay because i really want to find a coffee table like i really want to find a coffee table um even if i don't find that like i would like to find a dresser like something something cute like when i went in there last time it was very dry they have nothing so um even if it's just something that like sparks my eye for some reason i just really want to get something from there i don't know why dinner and I also 
got this wine from Trader Joe's. So actually one of y'all told me to look in Trader Joe's for this certain wine, but I couldn't find it. So I was just looking in there in the wine section. I was like, let me just try out a little something. And the description sounded good. So I tried it out. I'm gonna put a picture because it's got a bottle over there. But um, it's actually not that bad. If you like Chardonnay, this is actually not terrible. It's very smooth. Like, I don't know, this is actually really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my dinner, my salmon, asparagus, and potatoes, and ooh, watch some shows or something. Like just relax, really. Hey y'all, it's Thursday. I'm at Hungus right now. I just came from um, the Cranberry Outlet. They didn't really have much, but I did get some stuff. I'll show you when I get home. But let me show you the clips from there because they did have some cute stuff. It's just not stuff that I needed. <laughs> and I'll show you guys what I'm looking for in there. I'm actually looking for pillows. I just returned the pillows that I got from Target. So hopefully they have some good stuff because it seems like everybody is in there. So maybe they just got their shipment today. I have no clue, but we are gonna go find out. I forgot to film at home goods, but they didn't really have nothing. So y'all really shouldn't be that mad at me. But yeah, um, they didn't have anything, okay? Like it's getting pathetic at this point. Like girl, just shut down. Like because y'all don't ever be having nothing. But I am back home. I need to actually fix this one video or like make these changes that the brand wanted me to make. And then um, I need to eat breakfast. I've been like intermittent fasting. Hold on, let me catch y'all. Boom. I've been internet, inter, internetting, intermittent, intermittent. How the hell you say that? I've been fasting, girl, okay? And so I don't eat from 8 p.m. to, what? Oh, 8 p.m. to uh, 12 p.m., so noon. So 8 p.m., the, like, after I eat dinner, right? And then all the way until 12 p.m., noon the next day. So that's what I've been doing. I've done that before, but I decided to try it out again because I really don't remember my results, and I'm pretty sure I wasn't consistent with it. So yeah, I'm trying to be very consistent with it this time. So it's 11.30 get a little hungry so um but i'm just gonna work and just kind of distract myself okay so i'm about to show you what i got from crate and barrel it's getting very bright there we go boom so went to the outlet and they had some pretty good stuff like i said but you know i just didn't really need anything that they had for real except of course I just, I feel like I have an obsession with glassware. Like I love cups. I don't know what it is, but like, I just need every shape, every size, everything. Like I just need it all. So right now I have like a good supply of like regular drinking cups, smaller versions of those. And then I also have um, like, you know, enough wine glasses and stuff. But, 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 but I'm hosting Memorial Day at my house. So I had to get some like, you know, cute little drinking cups. So I got this martini one. I really got these just to make like cute little, you know, like drinks or something like that for Instagram or, you know, just like practicing how to make drinks. I felt like I just needed two of these. So I got two and then the other ones that I got I got these margarita glasses because if you know me, I'm a margarita girl. So 
I just felt like I needed me a good margarita glass. So I got four of these because when my girls come over, we can make margaritas. We all love margaritas. So I got four of those. But yeah, I'm happy I have these. I literally don't even drink unless I'm like going out or anything like that. But now that I have a couch, I'm able to host here. So you know, we gonna have people over. So I had to get some cute stuff. I ordered a bar cart too. So I don't know when it's gonna get here. I should probably check the tracking, but I ordered a bar cart to go right here hey y'all it's friday it is like 4 30 the face is beat i've been filming all day um just pretty much getting like all the work done that i didn't get done um throughout the week because i was a little behind at first but your girl caught up so i'm all caught up and now i'm ready to be a hot girl this weekend you know i just posted an instagram reel and y'all are loving it um it's this one right here boom okay so yeah y'all are loving that so let me go and like reply to all the comments and stuff um actually i'm gonna do that in a second i need to get ready to like not cook dinner but like prep dinner because i'm making fish but i need to take the stuff out and all that if you're part of the ig fam you already know but we were having a debate on this not this but there was a photo frame artwork situation that was in home goods and y'all were telling me to go get it and i'm still thinking about it low-key i'm still thinking about it but i don't think it's gonna be there when i go because it is friday but i'm low-key on a mission to like finish my bedroom i just i can't one because i don't have a dresser um and all the ones that i want are out of stock y'all know the story child i'll be saying that like every vlog but um also, I don't like my nightstand, so I want a new nightstand. I want some like different type of artwork in here. I don't know what. And I'm like, should I put something up here? Like, or not? Or should I just put things like on the side of the bed? My bed is like centered. The bed is not centered on this wall, but it's centered on this wall right here. This one right here, I can't show y'all because it's the window. But, um,. It's like centered that way so that I have a lot of room to walk in and out. And also once I put like a dresser and a TV, like my bed is in the center of the dresser and the TV. Does that make sense? Um, so therefore I have just a lot more space on this wall than this one right here, as you can see clearly. Like now that my living room is pretty much like all good and you know, all that good stuff, like it just looks so good, you know? So I need my bedroom to follow suit. Like she need to get her shit together because I'm sick of her. Hopefully my bar cart is coming soon. Let me check the tracking. Ooh, it gets here tomorrow. So we could do that tomorrow. Okay, 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 okay. So yeah, I'm excited about that because look, I just need to get this space together because I have family coming over next weekend. So that vlog about to be lit, but um, <laughs> I have family coming over next weekend for Memorial Day, so I need out there to be all good first. Like, F the bedroom, she can wait. All I do is sleep in here anyway, so. Okay, y'all, it's too nice to be in the house, so your girl is going out, period. So, um, I'm gonna take my makeup off because my mascara kind of transferred. I tried to fix it, but. So, yeah, I'm going out with Miss Tia, Sunny, if you are a subscriber. But um, yeah, we about to go to this like sushi place. Hopefully, um, she's calling to see what their tables are looking like. But yeah, I'm about to just wash my face off and then try to get dressed. I'm probably just gonna wear something real simple because it's hot and we're just gonna go get sushi and drink. So nothing too crazy. All right, so we're, we are outside. We outside. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> We're just waiting on our table to be ready. We put in reservations for this place called Kushi Sushi. So we're gonna see what that's about. All the other places had like, they were fully booked or they had like two hour waits and stuff like that. So no. Um, but we're just gonna get some drinks, you know, a little food or something. And then we will catch up with y'all once we get our table. We actually just came from Sephora. Okay, so we finally got seated. As you can see, it's dark outside. <laughs> Forever. Right, but we are here. Girl, just give me the wings at this point. Right. Yeah. 
I keep forgetting to bring my little tripod. I never know where it is. <laughs> I be losing that thing, like, Lord. We got our drinks. Let me taste this. This tastes like a pineapple cheese. This tastes like the ice melted a little bit. Wait a minute. But is it spicy? Yeah, a little bit. I feel like the flavor is good. There's something in it. What was in it? Maybe I forgot what was in it. Oh, uh, there's grapefruit in it. Mm. So the ice didn't melt. It's just grapefruit. Yeah, grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants the grapefruit. Oh my god, I can't stand. Grapefruit is disgusting. Thank you. This looks so good. Of course. So we got the red tinkria. Anyways, y'all used to me looking crusty, you know. I also ordered food, so I was gonna cook breakfast and like do all that, but girl, I don't feel like doing all that, okay? Like sometimes you just have to order something because all that labor slaving over the stove, no ma'am. I also ordered some sweet green because I'm starving and I really like their um, hot honey bowl. It's so good. So I ordered that, well, let me tell you what actually happened, okay? Because it was a little chaotic. So I got up and was like, ooh, I want sweet green. I looked at the app and, well, the website, and it was like, oh, it's going to take like 45 minutes, 55 minutes to deliver. I'm like, I, I'm not doing it. Like, no. I can just go down the street to my local sweet green and get me some sweet green. So I Googled it to make sure they was open. Said they was open. Drove there. They was closed. And mind you, it's like no parking over there. So I had to like find street parking and then like, it was just a lot. I was driving around the block like a million times. <laughs> what? <laughs> so they was closed. So I'm like, you know what? I've been played. So I just ordered it on the website and then now it's gonna take 45 minutes when I could have just ordered it at first. And it would have just been like maybe 20 minutes away now, but now it's like 40 minutes away. And also, it's being delivered by Uber Eats. And I really thought I was doing something by ordering it through Sweet Green and not like DoorDash or Uber Eats. So Uber Eats, count your fucking days because number one, my salad is now $20 instead of 14. I'm pissed. But you know what? We still gonna eat it though. We gonna eat it. Mm -hmm. I'm just a little salty. Why is this sugar daddy like? Why is this man messaging me on Instagram talking about some drop your cash app for blessings? And then he gonna keep talking about some hello, hello. Bye, bye. Like what? I don't, what? No. People be scamming. Like, I don't know what you got going on, sir. I don't even use cash app no more. I also booked my nail appointment. <laughs> so, you know, I'm pressed or whatever. Like, I'm finna go get my nails done. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna get them done until like maybe Wednesday or Thursday. I gotta wait till she texts me back, but yeah, I am very excited. I need to figure out a nail design though. I know it's gonna be in the yellow color scheme. I got my food, so excited. So it has quinoa, uh, like a sweet potato and regular potato mix. I switch out the almonds for um, mushrooms. They have chicken and also this little kale slaw situation and then this right here is golden okay golden you need this it's the hot honey or whatever okay i put that in the microwave but i got a package um i think it's a gift from my stepmother <gasps> no they didn't send me the wrong color oh i'm like they sent me the wrong color it's in, like a little dust bag so, remember the black owned slippers on Amazon that I told y'all I found? Well, I have been following their Instagram for a while. 
but they finally put their slippers on Amazon so you can get them quicker. I was like, oh my God, yeah. So I shared them on my Instagram story, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. I have ordered them as well. I don't know if any of you have ordered them, but let me know if you did. So yeah, I ordered mine. Mine were lost, stolen. I don't know what's going on, but um, they said they delivered to the mail room, went in the mail room, they weren't there. And um, we basically expired all the other options of where the package could be. So basically somebody either took it or they never delivered it or girl, I don't know. So for my birthday, she got me the slippers. So excited. Ooh, they are so soft. Oh my gosh. Let me put them on. Ooh, they a little tight, y'all. These are so cute. Look at them. Wow, amazing. And they're so soft. Oh my gosh, this is the brand right here. 12, is it 12? 12 a.m., yes. And if you recognize this brand or their logo, the City Girls just had their shoes on for their Torculator like cover or whatever so yeah they had their they was wearing their brand in that uh their shoes in that cover but it's how they look these are size eight could i have gotten a size nine yeah maybe usually in my slippers i do like the size up but they didn't have a size nine on amazon so i just got the size eight i'm about to eat this keep editing my video and i need to send a picture to my stepmom so she can see that i got my slippers Hey y'all, it's like 11.30. I'm actually about to wash my hair and then straighten it because I am going to brunch tomorrow. So I think I want my hair straight. Don't mind it, I was kind of like finger combing it through, like looking at my scalp to see how, you know, how dirty it is and stuff. It's not that bad, but um, yeah. So I think I'm gonna wear my hair straight tomorrow. It's gonna be hot, so. Either I'll wear it straight or put it in a ponytail or just ponytail it for tomorrow and then wear it straight like the rest of the week and stuff. And it's also just easier to style because it's just it's just so much more easier to manage than like, you know, curls. And once you manipulate your curls, it's just frizzy. Like, girl, I ain't got time for all that. So I think I'm going to straighten my hair. My hair is like really, really soft right now and like very, it looks dry on camera, but it's very very soft right now and very moisturized because i've really been soaking it soaking it in leave-in conditioner that's usually how i care for my hair like the next couple weeks after getting it done so when did i get my hair done i think i got my hair done almost a month ago right i don't even know but um like the next you know few weeks after i make sure i'm like drenching it in something that's super moisturized like every single day every single chance i can get like i'm always just drenching it in some type of like leave-in conditioner or like hair oil or something okay we are blow dried definitely regret this um i don't even know what time it is what time is it it is oh it's 12 42 y'all it's daggone near one o'clock in the morning so i guess i'm not going to sleep until two because it's definitely going to take me like an hour to but I iron all this hair. I've come this far, might as well finish it. So, look at all this daggone hair. Okay, I'm ready to chop it off, y'all. I have plans to cut it short. I don't know when though. I just know at some point in my life, like I'm definitely cutting my hair short again. Because I just, I miss the convenience, honestly. Like, this is just a lot. But yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna do that. I just know like at some point in my life, I do plan on cutting my hair but I do want to grow my hair a little longer we'll see how long I can get it and then you know after that I'll probably just like maintain that length for a little bit and then you know do something drastic but for now we're good no worries y'all because I know y'all will chop my head off if I cut my hair oh my gosh y'all look crazy y'all literally be bullying me about my hair okay y'all be like don't you cut it don't do this don't do that like you got it sis, put the gun down. If you wanna know how I flat iron my hair, I literally don't change anything like at all. I do my hair the same exact way that I have been doing it for so long, like literally years. So you can go back to any of my flat iron tutorial. Well, probably like my latest one, 
is probably my um like my most accurate one all right i'm all done you know it came out really really good it came out exactly how i'd be wanting my hair to come out and i also use the olaplex bonding oil this oil right here in my hair once i'm done flat ironing it once i do the back half i put some and then i also go in once i do the front half as well because sometimes i feel like when you put in oils in like sometimes you can miss like the i guess the inside of your hair i don't really know how to explain it but i just do it at the halfway mark when i'm done with that you know flat iron half of my hair and then i go ahead and put some in the front so yeah let me go ahead and wrap my hair and then i'm going to bed and i will see you guys tomorrow good morning so going to brunch gotta get ready um i really just feel like the baddest bitch when my hair is straight y'all like i literally just it's just like a life-changing experience you know like i just love my hair straight anyway so i'm about to get ready what time is it it's 10 50 brunch is at 1 30 so what time do I, should I leave here? Like 12.30ish? I'll leave here at like 12.30 because I'm meeting my best friend at her um, at her house. Now my question is, how do I really want to wear my hair? Because I was thinking a ponytail, but I was also thinking down. But I was also thinking just something different, you know? Because when my hair is straight, that's when I really can experiment with like different styles and stuff. So... Okay, so I think this is what I'm gonna wear. Hold on, let me move this out the way. I'm wearing this top from Honey Bum. It's part of a set, um, but I didn't wanna wear the set together because I felt like it was a little too much yellow. These little shorts, this is actually like a little like bandeau jumpsuit, like it just stops right here. But it doesn't really like fit my torso the way I want it to. Like I feel like my torso is too long for it. It's from Naked Wardrobe like years and years and years ago. Um, but I just wear it as shorts, like under stuff. So I just folded like, the thing down and then I tuck my shirt in it on the side just to give it a little slouchy look you know and then boom and I also got these shoes from Shein like years ago so many years ago and then of course all of my accessories my JBW watch Pearl Label Co ring little focus yeah and Louisa ring and Louisa necklace same little earring stud combo that I always do, Nordstrom, and the little cuff one is from Anna Luisa. I literally don't change up my jewelry because I really don't have that much. Okay, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair yet, but I don't think I want it just straight down like this because of my collar. I feel like it's just in the way. I don't know. I feel like it's just too much going on right here. Half up, half down. <gasps> that would be cute. But then I look like I'm 12. Also, last time when I was like indecisive about my outfit, somebody was like, just trust your gut. Like, stop, you know, doubting yourself. It's not doubting myself. This is literally just my process. I've been like this for forever and I'm okay with it. And yes, I may be late sometimes, but that's okay because my friends already know I'm finna be late. <laughs> so yeah, this is just my process, y'all. I don't know really how else to um like get dressed for real. Unless I change my outfit 80 times and I change my hair 80 times. That's just part of being me. All right, this is how I'm wearing my hair. I just like pulled like a chunk right here and a chunk right here and then I tied it in the back. I don't know if I can see that, but I have like a little ponytail in the back. Um, I feel like I learned that trick from like Kim Kardashian or something. But um, yeah, that's how I'm wearing my hair. I wanted to wear it down, but just like not in my face, you know? So. I figured this was like the best bet. Um, but I'm not gonna bring my camera because it won't fit in my purse. But I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone if I have enough storage, I hope so. I'm gonna be deleting stuff on the way, on the Uber there, you know? You know, you gotta get some storage. But um, yeah, so I'm about to leave out. I will see y'all when we get to brunch. I better find your love, I better find your heart. I better find your love, I better find your heart. I better find your love. Hey y'all, good morning. It is actually Monday. I'm gonna include Monday in, well, Monday morning in this vlog because I did tell you guys I was gonna build my bar cart with you in this video, so I just picked it up. Also, didn't film my outro yesterday because yesterday was mad real, you know? Like, when you go to brunch with your girls, like, what do you do? You be asleep by like 
floor. We was really outside, like who do we think we are? But yeah, I had fun and I tried to get as much footage as possible, but honestly, when you're having fun, like you ain't even thinking about recording, you're not thinking about none of that. So I tried to get some stuff, some footage. Um, the brunch that we went to was called Proper 21K. I don't really recommend it, not even gonna front. The menu was just weird, like I didn't really understand it. Um, and the food options were just, well their brunch options were just very strange. That was that and then I don't even know the hookah bar that we went to, like somebody had pointed out that I didn't tell you guys the other hookah bar that I went to, I think maybe two weeks ago. Girl, I don't even remember what that one was called, like where are we at, I have no clue. I know where it is, it's on, um, it was on U Street, so, you know, the ghetto. But it was some, like, what hookah bar was that? I think it was Unity Lounge. I could be mistaken, girl, I don't know. So yeah, very fun. Let me go ahead and start building this bar cart because I can't wait for my, like, just my living room to really just come together. Hopefully this is easy, because baby girl ain't got time. This is from Target, by the way, and of course, it's probably 62, y'all know me. I wanted to fit on this wall, like, perfectly, so I measured it, and the wall was, like, 25 inches, and this one was, like, this um bar cart was, I think it was, like, either 25 or 26 inches wide, so I wanted it to literally fit right here, because I felt like a bar cart is kind of part of, like, the kitchen, and I feel like the kitchen starts right here. Okay, let's see what this thing is giving. I'm pretty good at putting stuff together, so I'm not really... I just got finished wiping it off so it's like some streak marks and stuff on it but yeah is it not as wobbly you know what <laughs> i'm not even gonna return it though i'm just i'm over it but yeah i think it looks good it has like a little shelf that you can put glasses on and stuff and i just got some from crate and barrel so i can put them there and then also maybe like some bottles here bottles there bottles everywhere so i got this for my birthday and i didn't really have anywhere else to put it so it can go here Ooh, or i could just like leave it open like that is that corny y'all let me know am i flexing or what <laughs> And then we also have this thing that I can like put right there. And then I can put my um, like martini glasses in here. Are they supposed to go upside down? Like do you store them like this or like that? I feel like they go like this. I could not get this sticker off y'all. So that's just gonna have to stay there at this point because I was trying to peel it, but it wasn't like coming off all the way. It was like leaving residue. So I was like, let me not. Just have something looking tacky. I can just act like it's not there. And of course the margarita glasses. So we can put those there. Just two. I have four, but I'ma just put two because I don't want it to look like overcrowded. But that's cute. So now I just need to fill it up. Like let's get some some things flowing. I really don't drink like that, like just in the house drinking. Like who does that? Well, people do do that, but like I don't I don't know, this is not me. I drink like socially. Ooh, this food is hot. I like my food to be like devil's microwave hot. I don't know what it is, but I just need my food to be like scorching, like damn near burning my insides <laughs> for me to want to eat it. Like I really like my food super hot. I will drink like wine. It's like a glass of wine with my dinner and stuff, but I, I don't really 
um, like drink hard liquor for real, just in the house. I feel like I do that like when, I feel like that's just for, you know, social settings or like when you have people over or stuff like that. So yeah. So yeah, I'm about to eat my food and then I will catch you guys in the next vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I feel like next weekend is probably gonna be like a lot more eventful and stuff because I am having like a little party over here, you know? And then um, also I just have like some other like stuff planned. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.